We are on the cusp of a new era in science, energy, and technology, and engineers are important stakeholders in this journey. Government is encouraging more Jamaicans to pursue academic studies and careers in STEM areas such as engineering. Engineering has been around for ages, but the profession could not have been more relevant to society. Engineers don't just work with machines, designs and electronics. They use maths and science to provide innovation and inventions that shape our society and improve the way we live and work. The field of engineering can be broken down into six main categories, the oldest and most popular of which is civil engineering. Civil engineers design and construct large structures such as roads, buildings, airports and bridges. Just take a look around. It is undeniable that civil engineers play an integral role in society and as such, more universities are offering programs that will equip students with the skills and knowledge they need to meet the increasingly sophisticated engineering demands of clients. One such program is the recently accredited bachelor's degree in civil engineering at the University of Technology. The four-year program not only imparts basic engineering knowledge, but it also allows students to specialize in their desired civil engineering fields. At the end of the program, their final year, they can specialize. So they can specialize in structural engineering, transportation engineering, environmental engineering, construction engineering. The students are also given a final year investigative group project, whereby they present their findings and solutions to heads of the department and members of the wider construction sector. We had persons from the group, or group, groups that came out ahead of others. So we had first place and the second place. We also had a third place. We just recognize persons for doing well. Let's learn about some of the outstanding final year projects that were produced by some of this year's top students. Hi, my name is Chanel Roy and my group members and I were given the task to design a hospital and epidemiology center to be placed in Western Jamaica. So the approach that we took was to design a radial ward that comprised of four wards of course to ensure that we have maximum capacity. So on ward A we have maternity, on ward B we have neonatal, on ward C we have physical therapy. These are just some of the services on each of the wards. Of course, it's a five floor hospital and we have an underground basement as well for medical equipment and medical vehicles. As it relates to structural engineering work, we design a composite slab using steel mainframe reinforcements. We designed for earthquake loading. We did our sustainable drainage design. We utilized our mixed design knowledge as it relates to designing porous concrete of various layers, sub, sub grades and layers, etc., to ensure that we have an efficient and sustainable system. Hello, my name is Justina Gale. My group members and I designed a football stadium and complex to host a football tournament. For the stadium, we designed three tiers, which is basically three levels for the spectators, which are 60,000 spectators which we designed for, for them to see. The sports facility that was designed for including facilities such as a netball court, a basketball court, swimming area. We looked at some issues at the current national stadium and also the Trelawney Multipurpose Stadium and we said, why not design something with more seating capacity to be able to accommodate more people and to have some special features so we can have international people to come and support. Did you know that in 2010, the United Nations declared the access to safe, adequate, and clean drinking water a human right? My name is Sharifa Cohen, and my team and I designed a water treatment facility and pipe network to supply Negril and its environs using the Cabarita River as service. So our treatment plant is a traditional filtration plant, but one, I always tell people, it cannot be contemporary if it's not sustainable. So our treatment plant aims to be closed looped in that it uses indigenous material such as bamboo and coconut husks 
and it also recycles the waste from the plant so as not to pollute the environment further. It has a concrete gravity dam that has a reservoir behind it that will store the 15 million gallons a day that we deduce that the town would require. So with refinement, we hope that we can propose this to the government. I am Giovanni Walker and my group and I designed a model for the relocation of the residents of the Almanton community. As you might know, the government has an overzone project which is a plan to have the ministries in a centralized location. So with that being said, the, this plan will effectively remove 40 acres of the 50 acre site surrounding the National Heroes Park. And for that reason, the many commercial or residential buildings surrounding the park will have to be demolished and Almond Town falls into residential category. So my group mates and I decided that we will propose a solution for this very relevant issue. So we have decided to use seven apartment buildings to relocate approximately 1,260 residents based on the statistics of a survey that was conducted. Our proposed relocation site is an approximately 86,000 square meter area plan at Upper Camp. We decided to use that site because it falls within a five mile radius so as not to greatly exaggerate the livelihood of the residents of the Almond Town region. So there you have it. It's evident that these students are on the right path to becoming outstanding civil engineers in the near future. If you're a high school student who is considering a career in civil engineering, then the Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering at the University of Technology is definitely a viable option. Here is what you need. Five CX, CSEC subjects and six units from Cape. Two units in mathematics, pure mathematics usually, two units in physics, and two units in something that is related, modules or subjects that are related to um, the sciences.